Good morning. So I've done um, six nights now on this part of the river lot down in the southwest of France. Um, and as I've never fished rivers before, um, not done a lot of boat fishing before, uh, it's been it's been tough. It's been it's been educational. Let's put it like that. Um, and although I've only had one carp, I've had a couple of catfish. I've I've lost three fish. Um, Again, really, that's just down to lack of knowledge of what I'm doing on this style of fishing. Like I said, it's all new to me. Um, but I put in a lot of work, a lot of effort. And as each day goes on, I'll be getting more and more confident and more and more knowledgeable um, through friends of Facebook who've been giving me advice. And, you know, I've even had a lovely couple that came down to visit me yesterday that have got a house just down the road, actually on the river. Um... So yeah, it's just picking the brains of people really and um, educating myself. And with all the work that I've put in, I'm in two minds now whether to, to move on to a little bit further um, east up the river or I stick it out until I've had a fish. So all that hard work and everything that I've put in, um, <laughs> just one fish will make it all worthwhile. Yeah, I lost... Um, I lost two fish um, over there. Um, gutted. I was gutted. <laughs> gutted. Yeah, just took me into the snags um, and just literally snapped 40 pound lines. Just something over there must be really sharp. And when I hooked into the fish, it just took me behind this sharp object, whatever it may be. And it just literally cut through my line like butter. Um, so yeah, so I've, I've had to make adjustments for that, um, so that I'm prepared now. So if that happens again, um, hopefully I, I know exactly what to do and how to cope with it. Um, I'm, I'm not going to pack up today. Um, we've had some really, really heavy rain in the last uh, 48 hours um, and everything's all wet and and soggy and I don't really want to pack away all my gear whilst it's all wet because it makes everything feel all damp in my van and um, so I'm going to give it another at least another 24 hours maybe 48 and hopefully fingers crossed I might be able to pull something out the bag and at least have one carp um, I said I've had one carp at the very very first night with within two minutes of me putting the rod in the water so that wasn't particularly skillful that was just more well it was absolute just pure luck <laughs> there's no no questions about it there was no skill involved with that at all but I'll take it it was a nice lovely 24 pound uh, mirror carp my first ever river carp um but yeah so uh I'm going to give it another 24 to 48 hours and I'm hoping with what I've learned over the last six nights, six days, um, I can pull something out the bag. I know there's carp around on this area. Um, I've seen a couple of carp crash over on the far margin, quite close to where my baits are. Um, but I've decided to bait really heavy as well now. So I'm putting like three or four kilos of bait over each rod and that seems to get me the bites. So I'm going to redo my rods in a minute. Um, I had a couple of bleeps last night on my middle rod. Uh, but I think that might have just been what you call line bites, where the fish is, or, or some fish are swimming it into your line and just making uh, your rod tips move, and then that makes the alarm go. Um, yeah, let's see what today brings. And then hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, in the next 24 hours, I can show you one of the stunning, stunning carp that this river has to offer. I mean, it is just such a beautiful, beautiful river. And it's just so peaceful. So, fingers crossed. Speak to you soon.